I'm Callie Kenny. I'm sitting outside of our farm here in Auburn, Alabama, and um, I have just a couple thoughts that I wanted to share. These are some tips that I've been living out for the past few years, and when I, you know, work with different people and work with my team, these are some things that I share. So um, I'm a holistic health coach, and when you think about holistic, you're really thinking about the full person. You're not just thinking about their body, you're also thinking about you know how you can support a healthy environment and how you can help support their their mind and their spirit and so one of the things that I do on a daily basis to support my body is I eat good healthy foods I drink good clean water and I get these random calls in the middle of my live my live um, video so Anyway, as a holistic co health coach, you know, I'm focusing on helping people with all the different tools to support a healthy lifestyle. We're drinking healthy water, we're eating healthy foods, we're taking healthy vitamins, and um, we also need some, some to put some things in, in our hearts and in our minds. So, I don't know if you've ever heard this saying before, but it's, um, whatever's in the well comes out in the bucket. And what that means is whatever you're putting in is going to come out. And there's, um, there's a verse that I love, and it's faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. And I think of this as faith comes by hearing, hearing, hearing. You got to hear it all the time. Just like you don't drink water just once in your life or once a day, you're going to drink all the time. Otherwise, you would become completely dehydrated. You're going to eat healthy foods all throughout your day. You're going to, you know, continue to exercise. You're going to continue doing these things. You got to feed your body if you want to be healthy. And in the same way, you've got to feed your spirit if you want to have a healthy spirit. So, one of my tips is when you are, you know, taking your, you're making your vitamins, if you're the vitamin packer in your house, in your household, one of the tips that you can do is um, just whenever you have time, sit down with a jar and this empty jar and these little strips of paper and write down quotes that mean something to you. They could be Bible verses, they could be um, quotes from the internet. I mean, there are tons of great quotes on the internet. You could do sweet pictures on there. You could get your family involved. Um, if you homeschool, this is a great way, you know, to let your kids practice their handwriting if you'd like to. Um, but get everyone involved and take these little strips of paper. Here, I'll show you one of them. They just look like this. They're tiny little strips of paper and I've rolled them up around a pencil. Okay, so you're gonna take all of these little strips of paper and you're gonna put them in the jar. And you could have hundreds of them. I mean, you could, you could build them over a year's time. When people come to your house, they can reach in. Um, I, don't, I don't do um, fortune cookies, but this could be kind of that. They could reach in the jar and pull out their quote for the day. Um, so it could, it could serve everyone. But if you are the one that packs your vitamins, pack this. This is your spiritual vitamin. So in addition to the vitamins that you take to serve your body and help your body function well, Okay, here's a great one. This was yesterday's. I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. There's one. Okay, let's see what Tuesday's was. Oh, this is a good one. Contentment is not the fulfillment of what you want, but rather the realization of what you already have. Oh, man. Okay, and then today's. I'm a new creation. Who needed to hear that? Who needs to remember that they are a new creation each morning? Oh my goodness. Thank the Lord I'm a new creation. Um, so anyway, this is just my, my healthy tip for your, your spiritual vitamin. And by the way, many of you have not seen me since um, I started the process of having surgery. And so it has taken a lot for me to get on here today. I feel a little bit like I'm jumping off Chimney Rock. Um, I've, you know, shown my face to to my team and to my family, but getting on in a very public way since my surgery, this is this is pretty significant for me. And so, but I thought, you know, this is a tool I have, and if I keep silent about it, think about all the people that 
I'm not helping. And so, at any rate, I'm just putting myself out there. Hopefully, y'all will be very kind. Um, my next surgery is going to be on July the 20th. We're going to be straightening some of this up. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity to, um, to be able to share, even in a hard time. This is a speed bump. Some of you are going, you're crossing over mountains. And so get out there and love on people anyway. You know, our, our pain and our struggle is redeemed when we help others. So God bless each of you. Thank you for spending just a few minutes with me this morning. Mwah!